Hey guys, VFX Bro here with the third tutorial in After Effects. We're going to be taking this cityscape shot and animating the lights to turn on and off with the music that you saw in the music video. We're not going to be doing this tutorial to any particular music, so go ahead and feel free to do it to whatever beat you'd like. Um, we're going to go ahead and start a new project, import our footage here into a new composition select the composition file and duplicate it. You do that by hitting Command C and then Command V a few times. Um, we're going to take the bottom layer and name it original so that we can see our original shot without any modifications when needed. The way that we're going to go about adding in these new lights is by cloning the original lights that you see in the shot. When you're shooting this, you're going to want to make sure that you're shooting it on a tripod so that it's still. We're going to take our clone stamp and hit Alt to select the top left of the window here. And then after we hit Alt, we're going to be able to clone it into a new spot. So we can see here that we're actually just duplicating the um, portion of the shot that has been selected. So obviously every shot that you edit will be different, but what you're going to want to do is just make it as random as possible. Um, you might want to just add in a few windows or an entire building's worth of windows. So it's really up to your preference. In this particular shot, I ended up duplicating about 60 windows or so. A few shortcuts that you're going to be using when doing these clones will be the command B button and the H button. So the command B button will take you to the cloning stamp tool and then the H button is the hand so that you can move around the shot. Using the shot we had the issue of an AT&T logo appearing so what we had to do was remove the AT&T logo by also using the clone tool. So what we did was kind of duplicated the lower part of the wall in order to cover up the higher part of the wall where the AT&T logo appeared. Obviously this won't be a problem in every shot but the cloning tool can be very resourceful in many situations. We're going to go ahead and change the pixel width to 9 to cover up this last small part here. You can see it's not quite perfect yet. This area looks a little bit darker than it's supposed to be. So once we're done with the main masking, we can fix this by using a huge clone radius and just hitting it a few times over the area. Oh, not the, there we go. And um, it just kind of helps it all mesh together. Okay, so there we have the shot with our added in windows and the removal of the AT&T logo. We're going to go back to our composition and just toggle it on and off so we can see the difference that we've made so far. We're going to select our cloned layer and go Layer Precompose. We're going to move all attributes into the new composition and hit OK. So now we have our top layer, the added in windows and removed AT&T logo. What we're going to do now is draw a mask around one area of added in windows that we want to flicker on and off. So we're going to draw this mask by hitting the G button and that will bring up our mask tool and just draw a mask around the entire area that we have the windows shown. So we're going to see that those are the windows that have been added in there. And now we're going to go into the mask settings and put a keyframe on the mask path. Now what we're going to do is move forward one frame with the top of the mask selected and move the mask down just slightly so that it's covering one less window. So as we move from one keyframe to the next, one of the lights is turning on. And we're going to go ahead and do this for every single light. So the process is going to be repeated for every window that you want to animate on and off. I'm going to go ahead and save you some time and not show you how I did every single window. But this basic procedure that you see here was repeated on every window that was animated on and off in the video.
Okay, and then once you've keyframed every set of windows that you want to animate on and off, you're going to duplicate the composition for that particular window set. So here I have about seven or eight window sets that I have duplicated. And I'm going to go into the mask settings of each one, select all of the keyframes, hit Command C, and then Command V. So I am copying the keyframes that we just made. You're going to want to do this over one or two seconds, depending on how long your actual clip is. And after you have copied the keyframes several times to fill up the entire span of the clip, you're going to select them all and copy them again and then paste them in a random spot. So the key here is just to make it random as possible so that we see uh, an animating on and off of the lights in a random order. Obviously if you prefer it to be less random then you can do so by changing the keyframes but for this particular shot I just wanted the, sh the animation to be fairly random. After I've repeated this process for all five or six of the window sets, I'm going to make a last layer where I draw a mask around the AT&T logo. I'm going to go ahead and render it out and take a look at what we have so far. There we go. The windows seem to be animating on and off very well. Uh, another step I'd like to take in this process is adding a camera shake just to make this shot feel a little bit more organic. So I'm going to take the composition that we've made and bring it into a new composition here. And I'm going to go to a preset that I often use called Shake. You can find it at videocopilot.com. It's a preset called Shake and you can install it in After Effects. You can go ahead and open up the shake and apply it to the new composition. I'm going to go ahead and change the speed to 1.5 and leave the amount around 40. And let's go ahead and take a look at it and we've got a nice camera shake there that kind of adds to the shot. And lastly what I like to do is add a fast blur so that the camera appears as though it is coming out of focus to focus, also adding an organic feel to the shot. So I'm going to take a fast blur after I've added an adjustment layer, add the fast blur to the adjustment layer, and then bring up the blurriness to about 24, set a keyframe. I'm going to go into the fast blur effects, move forward about a second or so, and then add another keyframe that completely removes the fast blur. Alright, so here we have the completed shot. We're going to render it out here after adding the keyframe assistant easy in just to let it, the shot slowly move into focus. And this has been VFX Bro with another tutorial on skyscraper likes. Feel free to check out the music video on the channel in which this effect was used. Next week we will be showing a tutorial on how to change a single image into a live moving video.